Okay, um, welcome back. Hi everyone, good afternoon. Um, welcome back to our live session with ACC Global Indonesia. Uh, whether you watch from um, Facebook, YouTube or Instagram live, so we just want to say welcome. Uh, today we, we are in collaboration with one of the university close to our home, um, Tunku Abdul Rahman University College, or we will call it in short uh, Taryuzi uh, from Malaysia. Um, we will talk more about the university with Leon Kong later on, International Marketing Officer from uh, Tar UC. And later on, we'll be joining us Alvin Juliansen, um, a current student, Bachelor of Hospitality Management Honors uh, in Tar UC. So before we uh, talk more, Leon and Alvin later on joining us, um, perhaps we just watch a profile video about the Tar UC.
great. Uh, we can see that the UC has quite a lot to offer. Um, yeah, during our conversation today, friends, if you have any questions, whether you're watching from uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, or um, YouTube, uh, feel free to type down uh, your questions in the comments box down below. So you can uh, ask anything uh, and we can try to uh, answer all your questions today. Um, so we have Leon here, Leon Kong, International Marketing Officer. Welcome, Leon. How are you? Hello, hello. Thank how's you the, for uh, having us inside this live stream. Yeah, how's the pandemic going on there? Yeah, talk about the pandemic. The pandemic uh, in Malaysia, I can say it's actually under control now because all the vaccination mm -hmm. is coming in. So the situation oh, it's now... Actually, out already, yeah. yeah, actually the situation now, we are actually having the vaccination going on uh, batch by batch. So we are actually mm -hmm. very welcome for... We are current slowly opening our border to all the international students as well as all the foreigners. Good to hear. Um, okay, let's talk about the university. Uh, probably you have, um, want to just introduce uh, Tar UC to our audience here. You know, where is it? And then I saw that you have actually plenty campuses across the state as well. Yeah. Well, uh, when talk about Thai UC, Thai UC have been established in Malaysia more than 50 years of history. We established mm -hmm. in 1969. Until now, we actually achieved a 52 years of history in Malaysia. We can consider we are one of the oldest private institute in Malaysia. And we are also the biggest private institute in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Right? We are actually located very, very city center in Malaysia. Basically, we are located in Kuala Lumpur. So basically, uh -huh. we are just one step away from the KLCC Twin Tower. So it's actually a very convenient places for international students when they are traveling from uh, other places to our international airport, KIA. They are there from there. They actually can take LRT train, which is our train station, all right? Train public transport. It takes about 55 minutes, or I can say one hour to reach the nearest LRT station or the train station in our university by walking distance to our train station is only 10 minutes mm -hmm. so i thought that mm. yeah i thought that you also have campuses in other states like penang perak and everything do i mean is it they they also offer all the program that you have or it depends on which state offering what what programs yes uh basically uh we have uh, six campuses across malaysia uh, the main mm -hmm. campus, it will be our Kuala Lumpur main campus. And then we have mm -hmm. the Penang campus, we have Perak campus, we have Johor campus, Pahang campus, and then the latest is our Sabah campus. So each campus will be actually offering a, a very wide range of program. And then some campus, they offer their special unique program in their campus. For example, mm -hmm. like Perak branch campus, they actually offer aquaculture. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Then some campus, they actually offer some of their uh, local, uh, who, what which is uh, required for their more in their local industry. Mm -hmm. So we, well, the program itself is actually suit the local, the, the, the stage or the local campuses uh, requirement mm -hmm. to produce more workforce for that area. Mm. So talk about the programs, because uh, you have a wide range of it. Uh, what's your flagship actually? Well, when you talk about flagship, when people heard about Ta UC in Malaysia, mm -hmm. we will talk about our business program. Our mm -hmm. business program is our biggest faculty and also is our strongest program across Malaysia and also worldwide. Oh, well, this is, yeah, this is actually having reason because we actually have a lot of uh, award winning from our students uh, mm -hmm. across their business faculty. And then we actually have a lot of award from all those uh, our collaboration partner, as well as those professional bodies accreditation. Okay. Um, I think you have accounting, finance, um, and entrepreneurship. Do you have it? I think. Entrepreneurship. Yeah, yes. I think there's a lot of um, major that you offer, right? Yeah, um, resource, in, in terms of our friends from Indonesia, do they actually, which, which, which business program that they actually usually take? Normally, uh, from friends from Indonesia, they normally take international business, mm -hmm. right? Or yeah. they love to take about uh, business administration. 
our BBA, Bachelor yeah. of Business Administration. Yeah, got that. And then that one, they will progress into our MBA. Hmm. Okay. Um. How about the, because you have quite a lot of campuses, can students mm -hmm. actually transfer from one unit to another, like one campus to another, let's say I start in KL, then want to continue in Penang, would that be possible? Okay, for this, this question actually has a lot of people want to ask us because we have a lot of campuses across the stage and that is yeah. actually a, a very good experience for students to enjoy mm -hmm. all the all the uh, unique different experience in all the different campuses. But the thing is, all right, because uh, international students, basically we only uh, uh, place them inside our Kuala Lumpur main campus. Oh, okay? okay. However, we can actually have a lot of student activities, all right, mm -hmm. so, or any uh, of the program activities that is... Uh, from faculty to faculty, so they can actually plan a visit to each campuses. Uh, that one is planable. So it depends oh. on whether they want to go for a visit, a site visit to the branch campuses and then see how they are doing. This is actually can be done by students because we actually have students requested and then yes, we send them to the uh, Johor branch campus and then they go for Singapore for one, one day trip, then they come back. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> So okay. uh, it's a side learning and then they can also enjoy what, the situation, the, the culture in Malaysia, what is the culture in Johor, what is the, then they can all the way, they're learning all, along the way when they go for a trip. Hmm. Especially if our friend Indonesia in Borneo, Kalimantan, it will be easy to go to Sabah campus, that's right? Yes, yes. Is it also right. open to international students? But currently Sabah, we are not operating for international oh, students, okay. but in future, yes. In future, hmm. Penang campuses, uh, Sabah campuses, we are opening for international as well, but not so soon because we are I, we are getting our approval now. Okay, um, talking about the studying experience in Malaysia, um, you know the country is offering internship, but some are not as well. How about in um, Thai UC? Well, uh, in our university, internship is a must. Oh, so nice. The, Yes, okay. internship is a must for mm -hmm. every program. Minimum is three months and then maximum mm -hmm. is uh, six months. So we, our lecturer, our faculty, we will place them or they can select the student itself. They can actually select themselves. So if you have a, uh, uh, you wish to go to which international company, you can go for it, no worry. But if you do not have an idea of where you want to go, no worry, you can discuss with our lecturer or mm -hmm. our faculty member. Then they will let you have a list to choose. Then you can go for it. How about if, um, let's say, doing internship not in Malaysia, let's say in the no home problem. country, it's no okay problem. as well? Yes, it's okay oh. as well because we actually have a lot of students, for example, like Indonesia students, if they have a mm -hmm. choices of they want to go back home country, they yeah. we actually place students back to their Indonesia Pakistan. We actually have that. Yeah. They go to Pakistan, Indonesia, and then some of it, they mm -hmm. go to uh, yeah, their, their ideal company in Indonesia. Mm, okay, so uh, it's possible to do it uh, even in the home country. Yeah. Okay, how about um, the, let's say, uh, the current situation? Because this pandemic is, I know it's online and the border closed. Uh, how is it like, you know, the, the, to study in Thai UC? Well, when, when the pandemic hit, yes, every university will take the challenge. Because we're having a hard time in the one one sec one first month and the second month, and then we transfer everything to online. Because we mm -hmm. actually have an online study platform, right? We have a Google Classroom, and then students will have their classes all over the Google Classroom. So it's actually very convenient because all the assignment and mm -hmm. all the lecture can be done inside the Google Classroom. Okay, so thanks to technology, I think. Yeah, thanks um, to technology, we contribute a lot. Hello Tashians, welcome back to Ta UC. As you resume your studies here, we have to adapt to the new normal and adjust our behaviour and habit. Wearing face masks, practicing social distancing and regular sanitizing will be the norm to safeguard our health. The well-being of our staff and students remain our topmost priority. So we have taken the necessary measures to ensure that the campus remains a safe and conducive study environment. I look forward to having you back on the campus. Stay safe and stay healthy always.
That's great. So it's um, actually you're quite ready to, uh, you know, go through the pandemic with the technology that you have. Um, we have here uh, Alfin. Um, he's uh, hi. hi, Alfin. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Alvin is studying Bachelor of Hospitality Management Honors and uh, he's from Surabaya. Yeah, I'm yeah. from Surabaya, Indonesia. Okay. Um, how are you, Alvin? I mean, because you're studying, belajarnya di Surabaya online. How yeah. how you coping so far? So far, so good lah. <laughs> Kebetulan saya baru pulang sih dari Malaysia sih. Oh, okay. Tanggal mm -hmm. 26 Februari kemarin. Mm -hmm. Jadi ya, uh, masih oke. Okay. Oh, so jadi selama setahun kemarin masih merasakan di belajar di uh, main mean hmm. like doing online study but in Malaysia. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Aku karena kan uh, uh, since March 2020 kan dia punya lockdown hmm. kan ya. Jadi yeah. uh, dari Maret itu saya tetap tinggal di Malaysia sampai kemarin Februari akhirnya memutuskan untuk pulang ke Indonesia dulu. Oh, oke. Okay. Hmm. Tapi selama belajarnya masih online atau blended? Enggak, okay. masih online. Dari Maret itu sudah online. Oh, Oke. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, so far, uh, dari, kan, pasti kan sebelum ma masuk ke Tariusi, uh, akhirnya pasti udah compare-compare dong. Maksudnya, dari sekian banyak uni di dunia, dan even di Malaysia juga banyak, gitu. Yeah. Why Tariusi, gitu? Sebenarnya, kalau misalnya ditanya, why Tariusi, ya, kembali lagi, memang Tariusi, not my first choice tapi tapi karena saya kan juga pergi melihat university waktu itu di Sunway di Taylor yeah. ya kan nah yeah. memang Sunway Taylor itu memang bagus bukannya saya menjelekkan university lain tapi memang Sunway sama Taylor sama Monash itu memang bagus cuma saya merasa kalau misalnya saya sudah sampai ke negara lain ya i mean saya sudah belajar di negara lain untuk apa untuk belajar budayanya mereka tapi kalau misalnya saya akhirnya ujung-ujungnya uh, ketemu sama orang Indonesia lagi, kayak ngomong sama orang Indonesia, gaul sama orang Indonesia, kan gak, bukan gak ada guna, kurang berguna, ya kan? Jadi waktu hmm. saya pergi ke uh, Tariusi ini, saya pun lihatnya pun bukan dari, bukan dari, apa namanya, bukan direkomendasikan orang, tapi saya melihat dari Google. Pertamanya saya lihat dari Google. Oh, oke. Okay. Jadi saya begitu datang, saya lihat, wah, kamus ini sebenarnya, ya memang belum seterkenal seperti Sunway dan Taylor. Ya. Cuma kok saya melihat ini memang vibe-nya ini memang vibe kampus sekali gitu loh. Dan saya merasa saya bisa, saya mempunyai opportunity untuk belajar di sini uh, belajar budaya lain gitu, belajar bahasa lain gitu selain bahasa Indonesia gitu kan. Itu sih Karena sebenarnya. Environment-nya banyak orang lokalnya. Iya, banyak orang lokal. Banyak orang Indo juga gitu ya. Um, ya so um, Leon, how many Uh, what's your spread of nationality? I mean, do you really have more local than international yes, in the uh, campus? Our campus have more than 20,000 students per year mm -hmm. per intake, right? And then for international students compared to local ratio, actually we have more than 90, uh, we have 95% is uh, local Malaysian student. Mm. Right? And then we have less than, uh, I can say with 20,000 students are less than 1% is actually international student. Oh, okay. So in a way, it forced uh, Alvin to always speak English yeah. <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand that because, um, you know, some, some uh, because there's a lot of uh, Indonesian, then uh, you, you, you tend to speak Indo all the time. Even you speak Japanese all the time, right, Alvin? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Um, so um, then, um, Kenapa ambilnya hospitality management? Emang maunya itu atau? Um, sebenarnya saya itu maunya ngambil culinary arts. Hmm. Oke. Okay. Nah, cuma uh, culinary arts tend to be very expensive kan ya. Jadi uh, apa ada choicesnya itu ambil hospitality di mana hmm. kan di dalam juga ada praktek kan ya. Jadi ya yeah. itu sebenarnya alasan saya ngambil hospitality juga. Memang emang arahnya bakal ke Uh, dunia yang itu tapi ini ada uh, apa namanya more practice nya juga ya kalau internshipnya kan wajib tapi kalau secara programnya sendiri 
I think ada kayak komponen kerja yang harus diambil nggak sih? Kayak harus misalnya tahun kedua, tahun ketiga harus kerja gitu nggak? Kalau di kerja, tarik. kalau kerja sih nggak ya. Kalau kerja nggak praktek mungkin ya maksudnya. Ya. Kalau praktek, hmm. memang kita dapat praktek di tahun kedua. Sebenarnya semester ini saya harusnya praktek. Cuma kan oh, karena okay. pandemi kan ya. Jadi apa semua semua Uh, program structure itu diganti semua jadi uh, hopefully saya next semester hmm. I can go back to Malaysia already ya <laughs> jadi yeah, akhirnya ya. di semester um, ya di semester tiga saya praktek untuk masuk ke dapur oke okay. um, so uh, Leon is it uh, I don't know if if it's the same with the other uh, internship that we talked before um, hmm. is it paid internship for hospitality or how is Alright. it in general? Alright, uh, it, this one depends on which company you go and then how is their policy. But so far, our uh-huh. internship to like, for example, hospitality management, they actually pay a very uh, standard across all the internship, lah, all the intern. They actually pay, it's a paid internship. May, may I know like the rate to, to have the idea? All right, uh, the rate, it will start for the minimum, uh, normally it's 500 Malaysia ringgit. Right, per month. Maxi- yeah, per month, yes, per mm-hmm. month. Minimum is 500 ringgit per Malaysia ringgit per month. Mm-hmm. To a maximum, I heard about, uh, depends on which uh, internship uh, company you go to, they will give until maximum is 1,000 ringgit. Uh, depends month. how lucky you are. Yes, depends how lucky you are. How, <laughs> how, how, how lucky you are and then how your boss love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's um uh, it's a place right i mean you you help them to place into the company or they find it themselves ah this one depends on student if student have their own choices mm-hmm. and they want to go to which ideal company they want to go to yes they can go for it no worry however if for those students who are having a bit confusion or it's lost okay mm-hmm. we can guide them and then we provide a list for them for them to choose and then we can uh advise them uh advise the company to accept them that one no problem for example so I, like yep yeah. for example like uh hospitalian management we actually collaborate with a lot of uh international uh hotel yeah. for example Pullman hotel yeah. Genting resort so all those we actually have a lot of our internship student inside their hotel i so i assume there will be a kind of student support to take care of these things yes Correct. Exactly. Right. Like the you know the the, des- the dedicated team to help children find the placement. Okay. Yes, so I think do you already know? Yeah. yeah I think do you already know learning. which ho- company that you wanna work for? Um, for Lining. right now, I haven't know lah. But I have plan to go to like Genting or hmm. Pullman, mungkin. Jadi, memang sih saya cari memang di daerah yang apa Kuala Lumpur lah Kuala Lumpur kalau enggak yeah. Selangor lah ya karena memang saya ceria yang banyak turisnya supaya mereka itu melihat kalau oh ternyata ada international student jadi pekerja di sini itu membantu gitu loh jadi mereka bisa menghayat saya gitu loh uh, mm. apa uh, apa tujuannya mm. gitu sebenarnya karena genting juga baru nanti habis dari mm. di Farfish baru ya jadi yeah. uh, more uh, tourist coming right yeah. oke okay. Um, so I just want to ask about the, uh, from Leon, because, uh, you have plenty of courses. Do you also offer kind of, um, scholarship to students perhaps? All right. Uh, over here, uh, in Tunggu Abdul Rahman University College, we call it a but financial incentive. Okay. We call it financial mm-hmm. incentive. It's a one off discount for our Indonesia student as well as our international student who have scored excellent academic in their Ujian National or their Ujian Skora. So it's a one of 5,000 ringgit off from their tuition fee. Okay, nice. So I think we have questions coming up uh, from our audience today. Um, let's just see. Questions. Okay. So what's the total cost for bachelor program before scholarship? I think it's for Leon. Yep. All right. Uh, our total cost for a three years program for bachelor degree will roughly about fifty five thousand Malaysia ringgit, covering all, oh. including your tuition fee, including mm-hmm. your facility, including your registration, including your examination, 
all is inside this cost. So basically, we do not have any hidden cost. What we show is what you pay. How much is it in, in rupiah? Well, I'll, I'll try to calculate in my head, but can find the rupiah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's it's for one year, yeah, before scholarship. No, for three years. For three years. Oh, for three years before scholarship. Oh, sorry, three years three before years. scholarship. So if it's a scholarship, it will be much cheaper. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, hope that answer your questions. Um, any more questions? Uh, any question for master program? Because you also have master program. Yes, we oh, also yeah. have master and also PhD program. But unfortunately, okay, for our master and PhD program, we do not offer any scholarship currently. Mm, okay, so currently, uh, no. But keep. Uh, perhaps you have any um kind of like social media to follow leon for the yes, university you to update with the scholarship and everything yes uh you actually can go to our facebook tunku abdul lama university college okay you search mm -hmm. facebook tunku abdul lama university college we actually have a lot of information and also pictures and also some what is the program that we offer inside our facebook you can also pm us and then you can get details from the facebook inquiry as well okay cool um so we, before we continue our conversation, there, let's watch a KL campus uh, video so you have the idea where the Alvin is actually studying at. Yes, welcome to the world. Hey everyone, <laughs> this is Kelvin and welcome to Thai UC, the one-stop solution to tertiary education.
I bet you have a great studying experience here, meet amazing people and create unforgettable memory. Just don't take my word for it. Come and see yourself. See you in Thai UC. Wow, I would say that you have kind of like you offer a full experience as a campus. You know, you have everything, facilities, gym, um, pool as well. Um, yep. tell, tell us about the accommodation you stay. Are you staying in the campus or you stay off campus? Um, currently, before I'm going back, I'm, st uh, I'm staying in off campus lah, in Tratai, mm -hmm. Tratai Residency or Residency Tratai. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it dekat ya dari, dari sekitar kampus juga atau you have to travel ke, ke kampusnya? Uh, dekat kalau misalnya di dalam dekat yang kalau misalnya jalan kaki enggak nggak bisa tapi uh, di resi desi terata itu mereka mempunyai bus shuttle bus yang datang apa oh. setiap bisa dibilang setiap 15 menit atau setiap 30 menit ke resi desi terata itu untuk menjemput uh, siswa dari Tarius ini. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, hmm. jadi di walking distance enggak tapi dekat dan ada bus yeah. yang jemput setiap yeah. hari gitu ya. That's nice. Um, uh, kalau mungkin it, untuk saya itu uh, bukan walking distance lah. Relatif ya. Tergantung menurut siapa ya. Iya, <laughs> yeah, relatif. Oh, Oke. Okay. Yeah, um, terus, um, is it your, I mean, um, how, do you stay in a one room for yourself? Atau, uh, I mean, kadang-kadang kan kadang-kadang no. suka berpikir apakah itu kayak kos-kosan atau kayak apartment atau dormitory gitu. Bentuknya. Kalau misalnya menurut saya residensi terata itu nggak se nggak seburuk yang kayak orang-orang pikir wah asrama kampus gitu nggak itu sebenarnya hmm. seperti ke arah ke apartemen cuma mm -hmm. ya isinya ya murid-murid dari tadi sini gitu kalau untuk satu kamar eh, dari residensi teratainya itu memang menyediakan mostly itu satu kamar berdua hmm. dan apa namanya itu kan bisa apa kita nggak bisa milih kan maksudnya roommate kita siapa oh, iya. gitu kan jadi ya ya begitu tapi untuk cowok dan cewek pasti tenang saja dipisah udah pasti itu oh iya loh <laughs> ya uh, karena so banyak it's banyak to... ya banyak yang nggak dipisah oh gitu jadi uh, setidaknya kayak belajar adaptasi uh, dengan teman negara lain gitu ya kalau kalau Afri sendiri roommate-nya orang mana Uh, wah kalau ditanya rumit ya orang mana saya soalnya sudah pindah kamar tiga kali <laughs> nggak sih dua kali oh, okay. tepatnya oh. ya yeah. uh, yang pertama ya yeah, tiga tiganya semua orang uh, Malaysia cuma berbeda negeri kalau di Malaysia state, ngomongnya state state state. Line, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ada yang dari Kelantan ada yang dari mana uh, Port Dickson gitu. mm. oke okay. jadi uh, basically is it um, Is it the way, Leon? I mean, do you actually pair uh, students with other nationality? Is it like, you know, uh, is, you know, it's like your your policy or actually how? Oh no, this is actually not is our policy. It depends on your mm -hmm. luck also. <laughs> If your luck, okay. then you yes, it depends on your luck also. So uh, we actually. So uh, you're saying uh, coming with a friend, then you can stay together as well. Yes, yes, correct. If you come together. And in the, oh, in the okay. same time, then yes, you will probably be in the same uh, apartment or in the same uh, same room. If not, it will ah. become first comes first basis. So it depends on your I luck see. as well. Okay. Um. And what are you doing in your spare time, Alvin, as a student in Thai UC? Uh, before this pandemic, of course, karena sudah keluar apa sudah kuliah di luar negeri, pasti kan pengennya kita explore ya. Pasti kan kita pengen explore. Wah di Malaysia tuh gimana sih? So pasti basically on weekend I will going out at uh, yeah. either go to Pavilion, Sunway Velocity, or maybe mm. like uh, what is it? Yeah, mall. Yeah, mall or maybe yeah. yeah maybe on landmark lah. Aku lupa namanya apa ya itu ya. Masjid Jamek kalau nggak salah. Uh -huh. uh, so more to yeah. sightseeing gitu-gitu ya. Kegenting. Mm, yeah, yeah. karena sudah. Iya, yeah, karena sudah keluar negeri kan ngapain kalau misalnya kita nggak keluar gitu ya. <laughs> So, um, do you make friends with more Malaysian then? Karena memang banyak banyak lokalnya dibanding orang Indonesia sendiri. Uh, sebelum 
pandemik sebenarnya sebelum pandemik itu saya juga keluarnya memang sendiri gitu loh karena memang saya kan orangnya introvert gitu ya jadi saya nggak seberapa suka untuk bukan seberapa suka saya prefer untuk pergi sendiri gitu tapi setelah uh-huh. apa setelah pandemi ini setelah semua situasi waktu itu under control saya yeah. malah perginya keluar sama teman-teman apa teman-teman lokal gitu oke okay. yeah. oh ya yeah. because you have uh, the time that you actually can go out with the yeah. uh, small group kan mm-hmm. boleh ada sempat kan ya jadi nggak yang totally lockdown di dalam Bukan, rumah enggak. kan uh, oh, oke okay. Okay, I think we have a video about student experience in uh, Thai UC. Uh, let's watch. So uh, let's see if there's any questions coming in. Um, okay. Oh, that's quite specific, uh, Leon. Uh, what is the IB score for if you take science major? International baccalaureate, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, international baccalaureate. All right. Uh, international baccalaureate, basically, we are looking at uh, all credits. Right, all credit, and then we will have need to be a uh, specific level one. For example, if you are mm-hmm. looking for science major, we will need to have your science subjects. For example, like chemistry, biology, or physics, that one we need to have at least a B inside our B, okay. department. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's uh, hope that answer your question, you theorist. Um, any more questions? For SMA3, is it direct entry or not? So, uh, yeah, for Indonesian curriculum, do you accept it a direct entry? Yes, Indonesian curriculum with the grade 12 examination result, or we call it Ujian National, or last time it's the Ujian National, now we only have Ujian Sekola after the pandemic. Then we actually yeah. accept, yes, Yang Penting, uh, you are having a grade 12 uh, result. Then we can accept your Ujian Sekola. Yeah, Lulu Semua. As long as pass. <laughs> Lulu uh, we have a minimum average score be uh, 70. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering about your yeah. MBA because uh, mm-hmm. you know some MBA require GMAT, GRE or even the um, working experience. Do you actually need that as well? No. If you do not have any working experience, uh, you can just submit your bachelor degree certificate with a minimum CGPA of 2.5. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then with a valid IELTS, or we call it an uh, English requirement of with IELTS yep. band 5.5 minimum. Then you can qualify to enter to our MBA program. So, okay, so you basically need the score of 2.5 and above and the IELTS 5.5. Is yes, that correct? correct. Yeah. 5.5. And perhaps my last question is about your, because you're also offering PhD across all your faculty. I know that uh, I'm not sure whether you accept international students as well. Yes, Just, correct. We we accept international students for PhD, mm-hmm. for master, for bachelor degree. Everything we accept. I, I know that many Indonesian would love to take you know research nearby the home because usually they have family to to take care. Yes, yes, you know, back in Indonesia. Um, h- how is it? How's the how's the how's the timeline? I think um. Is it like the same, they have to find the supervisor first, uh, writing the uh, research proposal and then give it to them? Or you actually will be able to match them with the potential supervisor? Actually, over here, we actually match them with the potential supervisor. So mm. they can submit to us or they can send in the proposal of their research title to us. And then we have to yeah. look, then we find it, oh, this one, is very suitable to which which faculty and then which supervisor is actually in the expert field then we will send to the uh, supervisor for them to evaluate so if they feel fine yes the, the proposal is actually okay and then uh, the research title is actually suitable for his expert 
then yes, the, we will match the contact, let the supervisor link with the student and then they can further enhance their proposal mm. and then the student can start for the application to our PhD program. That's much easier, I think. Yes, we, we want to ease, yeah. the, ease the, the communication problem between supervisor and then the student. Yeah, right. So uh, if, 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 if uh, our audience here want to start application, whether it's bachelor, uh, postgrad, or research, uh, feel free to contact us through our any platform, social media, website, or even our WhatsApp. Um, and perhaps for the last questions to uh, Alvin before I go to Leon. Uh, so. Um, any last question from you, especially for those perhaps teman-teman uh, yang masih ragu buat mulai study online gitu. Karena kan, yeah, I know uh, some people would uh, actually decided to take a gap year perhaps. Karena mungkin kayak bingung kapan mau terbang atau mungkin apakah online itu works. Karena hospitality management, I know that it's a lot of uh, practice, hands on, and uh, the perfect ideal is to be there. Tapi kan belum bisa gitu. Any any comments atau any uh, suggestion, Alvin? Sebenarnya kalau misalnya dari saya ya, uh, kalau misalnya ditanya mending mulai aja dulu atau gimana? Men menurut saya sih nggak ada salahnya kalau kita mau mulai dulu gitu kan. Karena bagaimanapun juga kalau misalnya untuk apa khususnya hospitality management ini di year one semua pasti theoretical apa theoretical subject. Jadi Uh, yeah. belum ada practical. Jadi uh, menurut saya kalau misalnya mau apa mau menggunakan online learningnya di year one ini kan sudah nggak ada masalah gitu loh karena itu juga yeah. itu kan uh, teori semua kan ya. Nah gitu. Terus kalau misalnya menurut saya masih banyak yang ragu kalau misalnya oh, tarius ini bagus apa enggak sih menurut saya gitu dan gini ya uh, karena kan kalau misalnya kuliah di luar negeri kan pasti kita Uh, terken biasanya kendalanya adalah budget apa uang ya pastikannya nah menurut saya uh, kuliah di Tarius ini sebenarnya menurut saya malah itu harganya hampir sama dengan universitas swasta di Surabaya iya yeah. nah <laughs> jadi kalau menurut saya kalau sudah mendapatkan harga yang hampir-hampir mirip dengan universitas di Indonesia kenapa saya harus di Indonesia kalau misalnya saya bisa mendapatkan itu di Malaysia gitu loh dan itu kan sudah terhitung luar negeri gitu kan ya jadi, yeah, menurut, experience itu, juga ya. menurut saya di tarif ini memang dia punya harga itu sangat affordable lah menurut saya. Hmm, itu sih okay. dari saya. Hmm. Yep. Um, I think we have uh, additional questions coming up from Instagram. Oh, do we have to take Malaysian studies? Is it, does it mean history or language? I'm not sure. Perhaps the history or language. Okay, maybe. Should I uh, answer or Mr. Leon yeah. answer? <laughs> maybe we can help you to answer this question. <laughs> Actually, Malaysian studies is not uh, the subject that very hard lah. Itu sebenarnya subject yang nggak nggak susah kok, gampang kok itu jujur aja. Oh, but you, uh, tapi ambil ya, emang emang kita ada ambil, ya. Kita ambil karena as an international student kita harus ambil Malaysian studies, tetapi hanya several Malaysian studies, not all of the Malaysian studies, karena dia ada Malaysian studies yang tamadun Islam, tamadun Asia itu hanya untuk Malaysian uh, student saja. Oh, oke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jadi itu basically, apa sih kontennya, apa sih kayak lebih ke history gitu? Uh, kalau Atau Malaysian apa? studies, sebenarnya kalau di saya, dia di, dibagi menjadi tiga. Yang pertama, bahasa Melayu komunikasi. Itu sudah, oh. udahlah orang Indonesia nggak usah takut, hajar aja itu bahasa Melayu komunikasi. Bisa, ya, gampang, ya. bisa gampang <laughs> sekali itu mudah sekali yang kedua dia memang Malaysian studies literally Malaysian studies jadi dia belajar tentang sejarahnya Malaysia apa oh, uh, okay. waktu dia dijajah dan lain-lain itu tapi oh, tugasnya okay. tuh nggak nggak susah gitu loh itu semua tenang sekarang era sudah canggih Google semua bisa dicari <laughs> ya kan jadi yeah, yeah. no issues kalau itu terus yang ketiga yang sekarang lagi saya ambil itu adalah itu lebih ke arah politik, politik, ekonomi, sosialnya gitu. Jadi nggak terlalu susah menurut saya, masih oke okay lah. Kayak hafalan IPS gitu ya kali ya? Hafalan IPS, tapi kita nggak nggak perlu nggak pernah disuruh hafal. Ini maksudnya hmm. karena kan sekarang uh, kita sudah kuliah ya, sudah, yeah. sudah apa sudah tidak zamannya lagi kita menghafal. Kita harus bisa hmm. menganalisis gitu. 
Hmm, I see. Nggak susah kok. It's not that hard. Hmm. Bukan bukan suatu yang uh, momok juga ya? Nggak, nggak usah ditakutin. Oke. Okay. Uh, any more questions? Uh, let me check. One moment. No, I think. No questions, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Leon, it's your turn now. Anything to yep. say to our audience today? Well, I actually, after after this pandemic, I actually welcome all the international students, especially from uh, Indonesia, our neighborhood country. I welcome them. I will uh, invite you, all of our students, come over to Malaysia to visit us, okay, to hang out with us, okay, chit chat with our students to understand more about what is the life experience when you live in a Kuala Lumpur campus, all right, in city center. What is the experience you can get from our university study? This is what I want to share with our students. That's great. I, I believe that, like Alvin said, uh, I, I believe that studying in uh, outside the country gives you different point of view, different experience, <laughs> and yeah. uh, new friends, right. of course, right? Okay, uh, so thank you once again, Alvin, for your time. Take care yeah. in Surabaya and then Leon in, uh, you're in KL, right? Not right now? Yes, I'm in KL now. Yeah, you're in KL. Okay, uh, hopefully the border opens soon so uh, Alvin can get back to study. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, so friends, if you have any questions perhaps coming up, just uh, feel free to reach uh, ACC Global Indonesia through Instagram or Facebook or even if you uh, can visit our website as well or yeah this is the um all the details that we have okay so thanks once again uh, for being here with us uh, hopefully our conversation today is uh, useful and benefit our audience today so thank you everyone take care and stay safe bye all right see you guys bye, Leon. bye. bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Okay, that's all. Thanks, all right. Leon.